Today, I'm playing Ridgemark Golf Course, and as the title of this video says, I put a new putter in the bag. You read that right, the Jailbird Versa. This is my very first round with it, so let's hop to the course. Oh, yep. So we start the round off with a pop-up with the driver, only going about 134 yards. I know it's a low probability to get on the green from this distance, so I just lay up. <laughs> I don't know about this. The goal here is just to get bogey. Oh, it's got to go. Come on, be enough. And with the new flat stick in hand, I wasn't sure how this is going to be on the greens, but it was a good one today. Uh. And after that terrible drive, we're happy to get a bogey here, actually. So there's actually another club in the bag that's new. Oh, please carry. But we'll save that one for a rainy day until I figure it out. For now, let's just focus on the Jailbird Versa. Draw. <laughs> Even though I don't draw the ball, draw. This is breaking all the way towards there. And I'm actually using this as an arm lock putter. Wesley Bryant actually was using the same putter in this configuration, so I thought I'd give it a try. Good line, just speed, yeah. And the last putt was a good line, wrong speed, but this one was good on both. Oh, Thank you. Dude, is that a custom putter? I will say, Ridgemark is a gem. Oh, 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 oh. And having never been to Hollister before, I'm glad I got to try out this course. I might as well just play it lower, skip it up there, because I practice this shot all the time, you know. To stay below the tree, I take one club more. That might work out. And keep it below and on the green. Oh yeah. Go in the hole. Go go in the hole. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I'm just playing this straight, yo. Sometimes the straight putts are the hardest one to make, but not today. Yep. So pretty happy with the birdie here, and we're back to even par. This is a really deep green par three. Ah, uh, just catch a piece. Catch a piece. Okay. And we're giving the jailbird versa another go here. Stay up. And it wasn't a great putt. Oh. Ah, I will oh, put that. And honestly, started walking this one in a little too early. Oh, oh step too early. Yeah. <laughs> Spinny fader right here. Spinny fadus, where you at? Yep, there we go. Spinny fader. Okay. You know why there's a little cut in my ball? That's why the ball didn't go that far. Obviously, that was meant to be a joke. With a narrowing fairway and water on the left, we lay up. <laughs> Straight down the middle. That's all you got. Right down the middle. And too bad it doesn't pay off. Oh no, just don't go in the trap. Sit. And with a lot of green to work with, you can't see the rollout, but we go for the bump and run here. Wow, that broke left? One thing I really like about the Jailbird Versa is that it's easy to turn back to square with the paint drop. What the heck? Wow. I didn't... <laughs> But a paint job won't help you read greens. And I'm really curious, for all you gearheads out there, what driver am I playing today? Ah, uh, it's gotta go. I flare out this one right, and I'm gonna need some more time with this driver before I go in depth. Oh, I slipped a bit, but... This one ends up short of the green. Go. Ah, a little short. And a bump and run it is, but I leave it pretty far short. Oh, it hits chunks. Oh. And here I'm catching little glimpses of magic of what this Jailbird Versa can do. Yes. And I don't care what putter you have, if you make those long ones, it always feels good. This is a downhill par 3. Where's it fading? How come it's not fading? The fade wasn't there today, and I end up missing left. Of course, we're going to force another bump and run. Oh, keep going. Yes. Oh, that's a nice chip. All right. And another bad read unfortunately squanders the nice chip. Mm. I think it's pretty straight, actually. Yeah. Basically, you just got to kind of go straight out and avoid that thing on the left. Number two handicap. Oh, gosh. I really picked a bad time to pop a driver up. But not to fear. These one length hybrids are probably the only reason why I still play one length clubs. God, I love these hybrids. And this is not the putter's fault. Another bad misread and another bad leave. Oh, it does go right. And we're left with another long one for par. And once again, we're left with this six foot distance and we're able to clean it up. So very happy with par here. This is an intimidating hole, I must say. And there's nothing like a round killer. Oh, fudge. That's probably... Like hitting it out of bounds, but I was told it could potentially be safe. We'll see. Hitting four. Unfortunately, Lost ball. that's not the case. And we're hitting our fourth shot here on a par five. And I picked a really bad time to chuck in short. Oh, go. Please, 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 please go. And I picked an even worse time 
to bump and run it well past the hole. Bite. And when it rains, it pours. The severe downhill slope I did not play for. What did I say? And now that I'm watching this back, I'm probably not convincing you to get this really expensive putter. Nope, too short. What the heck was that, putty? Now I'm trying to regroup, but this long par 3 is proving to be quite challenging. Mm, chunked it. We miss it here short and right. Great shot, man. We're bumping this one onto the green because there's a lot of green to work with, and the results are so-so. This green was sloping quite massively right to left, and a miss here left a really dicey comeback. Oh my, oh my gosh. But I'm happy to report that we were able to clean this one up. That one was a clencher. Oh boy, fighting for Bowie here. Another drive, another pop up. Oh, we're gonna pop it up. And watching this back now, probably should not have brought a new driver and a new putter into play on the same day. Oh, falling back and whippy and... And with this one being short and left of the sand trap, we're taking out the 60 degree with pretty good results. Yep. And the Jailbird Versa makes short work of the slidey left to right putt. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, just gonna go for that skinny tree. It's a dog leg left, so obviously we're gonna hit it to the right. Oh, made the hole longer. And add about another 100 yards to the hole, no big deal. Very unlikely to get on the green here. Oh, chunky, but I'll take it. It's straight, I can see it. And now we're left with an awkward in-between distance to get onto the green, but we make pretty good work of it here. And now another opportunity to let the Jailbird versus shine. And we left it a little bit short. Ah. <laughs> Finally, we hit a decent drive here. But there's going to be a lot more pop-ups in this day. I'm sorry, that's just how it's going to go. And we're able to get the approach into the green on in regulation. Oh, fade. Come on. Hit off the hill. Another long one. And arm lock isn't the best when it comes to long putts. I might switch to regular grip when it comes to long putts. We'll have to try that in the future. I blame that on James. And even though it's only about four feet, it still feels good to clean these up. Yeah. <laughs> something, something, something. Pop up with the driver. And at this point, I am getting a little bit frustrated with the club. You might want to go a little. I'm like right over you. But the one length hybrid comes in to save the day. And we're at least in front of the green and have a shot at par. Oh, yeah. Bruv. Bruv. And of course, no doubt, there's going to be a bump and run here with so much green to work with. Oh, it went that way, left to right. And the Jailbird Versa has another opportunity to shine here. Oh. Not this time. Oh. Oh, shysta. This par 3 pulled it pretty far left, and now I have to bust out the 60 degree. And just a reminder, I have the one length wedges as well in the 56 and 60 degree. Ah. And I probably won't be getting any sponsorship opportunities no. by putting like this. Wow, that broke quite a bit actually. But we continue on and honestly still feeling very good about the putter itself. Oh, after a great chip. This is a huge fairway and of course I find some way to miss it. All this fairway. Okay, so what I'm going to do is probably go right over this tree hump. Actually, smart play would to be just go to the left, huh? If I go left, I have all this room left. But if I go right, I have the sand trap to kind of deal with. And that's what goes on in my mind when I'm trying to play the smart, safe play. Now we just have a little pitch onto the green instead of trying to deal with the sand trap on the right. And another opportunity for the Versa to shine through. And I feel like I let it down. Oh, I didn't even hit it. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. This was probably my best drive of the day. And like I said before, oh, popped it, but I'm gonna need a little bit more time before I do a full video on this thing. This was a really good three hybrid that I hit. Love the one length hybrids. Ooh. Didn't go for it, I just like And with just a short distance to the green, we just take the wedge up here. Sit. And we give ourselves a good look for birdie. Oh, nice shot. Thanks. I read this one breaking a little bit left and I aimed on the right edge and it was actually straight. Uh, I hit it straight. I hit it on my line. I just read the wrong line. God. Wasted birdie. So being a little bit frustrated, oh sh I lost focus and ended up hitting a house. Sit, 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 sit. Sit, 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 sit. I checked with the owner. Nothing was damaged, and we continued on. But honestly, I was a little shook, and I ended up playing this hole terribly. Wrong side of the fairway. I had an unlucky break here with these tree branches. Oh, I caught it a bit, huh? Shoot. And then I chunked my approach to the green. Oh. 
And then the 60 degree ends up not rolling out on me. Oh my gosh. Switch it up. And then trying the traditional grip with the Versa goes well past. All right, get me out of here. <laughs> and I don't make the sweeper back and I just put on another stroke and we'll call it a solid 10. Oh gosh. So not the best way to end the round, but I must say I'm impressed with the Jailbird Versa and using it as an arm lock putter. Let me know if you want me to go more in depth with it, but now you'll just see me playing it in my videos. So I hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing and we'll see you in the next one.